Hello, I'm Andrew Lissy Man. Welcome to Let's Play Sheltered. So, Sheltered is in early access right now, uh, and it is a a bit of a survival um, crafting strategy people management game. Uh, a bit like this war of mine, actually, very much like this war of mine, but uh, instead of being a little bit more abstract in how it treats the needs mechanics, it actually puts them on screen and be like, "You have a bar here for hygiene. You have a bar here for food, water, etc." Uh, a bit. Sims-like in that regard, although it's not really much like The Sims. The basic takes place in this nuclear apocalypse where you are hiding in a bunker and there's radiation all around outside and you have to be very careful about how you go anywhere and make sure you do not go outside of a hazmat suit or a gas mask or you will probably die and it will be horrific because you start as a family. You start as, like, a nuclear family or any other kind of family provided you have two parents and two children. Uh, families who don't want children, I'm sorry for you. Uh, but yeah, you start with two parents, two children, and then it'll be heartbreaking, and they'll all die horribly if you're me. I've played two hours so far, so I have a basic grip on some of the, like, essential basics, but other than that, I'm still pretty derpy. Don't worry, it'll be normal me. I'll probably miss something horrific and everyone will die from a lack of water. So we're going to go right in and start playing Sheltered. Uh, it is an early access. I would just, you know, reiterate that it's fairly early access. It came out like uh, three days ago as of time of recording, uh, which means that it has some bugs I've encountered. Uh, it has some missing features which are placeholder, which we will obviously encounter. They're kind of uh, all over the place, a few places, I think. Uh, and there is some balance issues, which I haven't really encountered that much of. So, you know... It comes to the territory early access. Uh, it is ten pounds in your regional equivalent, which I think is probably fair. Although you know, you, as with my advice on early access, unless you desperately want it, might as well wait a little while. But uh, we're gonna dive straight in. Play. Uh, slot two. You're empty. And ow, that hurt my ears. I might need to turn the sound down in my earphones a little bit. Right. So, customize parent. Uh, you will be. There is a name. There is meant to be a name slot here. Um, there we go. Hello! Let me draw the name from the Patreon list. As per usual, the random list for Needs You comes from the Patreon list, certain tiers, etc. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to spend this time pitching it. I'm just going to mention it because people always ask me. Your name is Tyler Mayberg. Or just Tyler. Uh, we will, yeah, we'll go with that. What is it? Trait Small Eater. Right, that means you don't eat very often, which means you save a bit on uh, your uh, food intake. Right. Stats, presets. You can get like a number of different stats, presets. You have intelligence, charisma, perception, dexterity, strength. Uh, we're missing one, aren't we? I mean, from the classic sort of D&D &D things, you're like, I have intelligence, I have strength, I have perception, I have dexterity. Um, I missed one, but anyway. Uh, the other one's like constitution. I guess everyone has HP that doesn't vary between people. Anyway, uh, you can basically like vary their start. You can't like allocate points, which is a bit of a shame, but I understand that you've got these set prefets, presets. So, like, you've got violent and stuff. You've got other ones. I think I'm going to go with violent. I mean, it's, I know it's uh, a little bit cliched to go with violent on the, uh, the parent, the husband dude, um, but we're going to go with it because it allows us to have a decent strength and dexterity. Maybe we'll, if we get involved in the fight, we can you know, hold out. And, uh, you know, Tyler is going to be the dad who will strive to go out into the wilderness, forage, and get stuff for the family. So, Tyler, you're in. Then, uh, Kevin Honker. Okay, so, Kevin. I'm going to assume, since it's a male name, that there'll be a male gender. So, I'm going to flip the gender, and still can't click that. Okay, let's randomize. Kevin. Right, Kevin. You are optimistic. Sure, be optimistic. Well-rounded. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe I should have someone who's, like, a good upbringing. Yeah, there we go. So I've got, like, if I go out into the wilderness, I can take uh, Tyler, I can kick Kevin. Tyler is, like, the one who will be like, I will defend us. And then Kevin's the one who's like, I will talk to people, perceive things, and be intelligent. That's probably a good idea. So, Kevin, you're going in. Um, optimistic, that's fine. You won't break very easily. Next. Hello, Duranku. Right, I don't actually know what the gender is associated with that word. Um, so, Duranku. You are a rough and tumble child who is good at fighting. Okay. And the next child has to be good at intelligence, but this is okay for now. Um, 
Resourceful. Maybe hygienic. There we go. We'll go hygienic. Hygienic, yeah. Um, and we'll go with resourceful on the one who's good at like repairing stuff. Uh, that is fine. Duranku, you are in. And then it is Marcin. Okay, Marcin M. Marcin is, if I recall correctly, Polish form of Martin. So it's male. Marcin. Uh, well spoken, no. Brain box, yes. And I want you to be a... Hands-on, I guess? M resourceful? I don't know what they what they do. Like, I assume hands-on is to do with maybe repairing or something else. And resourceful sounds like we doing, like, with building stuff and repairing. I don't know. I'm gonna go with resourceful then. Intelligence, and ideally, like, Marston will be in charge of, like, all the repairs and stuff in the, uh, the facility. So let's just dive straight in now. And we are going to be the Elysium family. Which stops typing, but does actually continue typing there. Our pet's name. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the pet being called Neko. Hello, Neko. You are in. You are our trusty pet. You can be a cat or a dog. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm gonna stop clicking now. Neko the dog. Okay, so the Elysium family. We have Tyler. We have Kevin, Duranku, and Marcin, and Neko the dog. Right, let's go. Bam! Would you like to play the tutorial? Sure. I don't think it really does much. It might explain to us. By us, I mean you. So this is our lovely place that we find. We just happen to find this lovely shelter that we can all live in. You've found refuge, but you're not other things yet. They won't be safe from radiation until they're inside the shelter. Find a way into the shelter. Okay. Uh, so, we can right-click the doors. Quick, close the doors. Close the doors. Close the doors. There we go. So you've got this, like, little airlock to protect you. And it's powered by a petrol generator. So, basically, you've got, like, this uh, RV up here. And a uh, crafting bench down here. A couple of hazmat suits. Map, radio. I mean, whoever left this place is an idiot, like... Really, silly, very silly idea. Tyler, if you wouldn't mind, add fuel to the generator. And... Lights up! Right, so, who is going to be our... I can't change between people. Okay. This place is old and run down, but as long as we fix and upgrade the objects and systems in here, we'll be fine. Drunk who? Oh, we can explore outside and find items to craft stuff with. There's a map on the wall by the door. Good car, but if we take care of our own needs too, we could stay here for a long time. Is anyone hungry or thirsty? Okay, let's bring down the hunger or thirst bar. So you've got like, thirst, hunger, tiredness, toilet, dirtiness, stress, and trauma. These two are like, bad. Bad, bad things. So, right, what do we need to do? Well, we need to certainly, for a start, find... Who's good at repairing? It's Marcin stuff, right. So, we want to craft an item. And here you can craft things. You could also upgrade the bench, by the way, to make, like, better stuff. Um, you make tier 2 stuff. I think what we'll do, yeah, we'll upgrade the bench. Straight away, so we can build better stuff. And I want to upgrade to this, which is a tier 2. Which will need wood, nails, and plastic. And this is how, basically how it works. You get a lot of stuff, and then you try and upgrade things. Yes, we're getting the child to do labor. Like, physical hard work. It's fine. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll also set up an expedition. So, we'll send Tyler. And Kevin. We're a little bit hungry, but they'll be fine. Optimistic big eater. Ooh. If we go back, small eater and unhygienic. Oh, whoops. No, don't send the child out. Okay, so... Tyler and Kevin. We start in procedurally generated area. So there's a forest down here, some mountains up here. There's a school here, small house, and a small farm. And it takes five water to go to the small farm. Or the small house. We're going to the small house. Confirm. It only takes us four water to go there. Ah! Oh. Okay. Uh, right. We are going to take... Ah, not that. I want to equip that as a weapon. So we're equipping a pipe as a weapon. We don't really start with any like, actual decent weapons. We'll also equip 
a gas mask so we don't get radiation poisoning. Protects the radiation from, uh, protects the wearer from radiation while out in the wasteland. Use oh, uh, one use only. Okay. So, gas masks really aren't u one use, but the filters in them are. Um, no, in theory. Uh, and it doesn't protect you from radiation, or shouldn't do, but it does in the game. So, we're just going to bypass that, and I'll maybe talk about that later on. We've also got, by the way, anti radiation tablets, although we only have a few of those. Uh, we will equip. God damn it. I always do right click for some reason, and. See? Always. Equip. So, we're going to take them pipes with us. Those are basically our only weapons, really, right now. I mean, we could take it like a wooden 2x4, but pipes are probably better, in my opinion. I don't really know. Let's send the party. We'll leave the children at home. Now, by the way, you've got, like, radiation suits, but you can't wear them on journeys for some reason. I guess they're not, like... They're a bit too bulky. So we're gonna airlock them. Don't, like, leave both doors open, by the way, because that would be bad. You get, like, radiation stuff in the base, and then everyone gets poisoned, and it's not safe in here anymore. Um... Duranku. There's something we can do. Can we upgrade this? The efficiency of rubber. Durability. And decontamination. Hmm. Alright, so you've got like, uh, water filter, oxygen filter, and these allow you to get oxygen in the base and they allow you to get water into the base. Water's really important, and we want to expand that soon. Uh, and you also have to like keep them repaired because they will start to fail over time. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Duranku to go outside, fix this, and you notice it's queued up, and then fix this because this is actually down to 62%. I'm glad we have, like, a child-sized radiation suit. They must be really popular. Uh, except transmission. Hello, this is Kevin. We found a small house out in the wasteland. Should we check it out? Yes, that's why we went there. Ah, uh, getting the children to repair all the, like, the important things with a blowtorch. Well, we were prepared. We taught our children how to use blowtorches. Kevin and Base, we found someone in this small house. They are signaling to us. I think they want to talk to us. What do you want us to do? Um, get involved. And the question is, do we want to recruit them? Right now, I don't think so. Like, we have got a limited amount of resources in our base. We haven't got, like, anything like a bed set up. Oh, God! What do you want? What has she got? She's got a knife. Easy there. Calm down. This is it. This is all I have left for trade. Look, just take it, okay? It's... I just need to get rid of it. Okay. I get it for free? Can I have that? She was like, I need to get rid of it. But she won't trade it. Okay. Uh, fine, I don't want it. Well, more precisely, I probably do want it, but I don't need to trade. You don't want to trade? What's wrong? Are they coming? Oh god, run! Wait, people are coming? Trade resolved, didn't get any points. I'm concerned. Light dust storm on the surface. Hmm. This small house might have some stuff that'll be useful. What do you think? Examine the items. Right, so... Ooh, good amount of food. Six food, a plastic, two wood, two wool, a bucket, water, nice, and a piece of metal. Okay, uh, eight out of twelve. Confirm. Yes. And they'll be back shortly. Right, so this rain. Guy counter says we're still pretty low in terms of rads. I don't know what it measures. I assume it measures rads. Maybe it measures millisieverts. What does it say? I can't tell. Ooh! Hello! We're getting back now. We're still upgrading this. It's a shame we didn't find much more in the way of building materials. Right, okay. And now, perception and perception is slightly higher. They search location, and we can take all these into our base. Excellent. Right, uh, confirm. Okay, so how are you feeling? Pretty good, didn't go very far, didn't stay out crazy long. And once this is done, we can start building. Actually, I might be able to craft items while I'm still working on it. Can I make cement? No, I need limestone to make the cement. The cement allows you to basically like, expand the place and make more room. We kind of need to do that pretty soon. Do I want anything here? Could probably do a bed fairly soon. Um, makeshift shower. The problem with makeshift shower is it uses a lot of water, and water is very... Like, 
important. Like most of your water not comes from, doesn't come from looting. It comes from like rain and being able to put it into these water butts. So you've got to build a lot more water butts. And the reason I'm not doing a, a small water butt is I'm waiting for the tier two so that we can build the medium water butt, which can store thirty as opposed to twenty. Um, but we could maybe build a snare trap. I mean, right now, our pantry is probably fine, and if you build a snare trap, you get some more food. I think I'll save the food. Grave, don't need one of those yet. Mop and bucket. Probably will, but not quite urgent. I honestly think what we'll do is make a sleeping bag. Now, sleeping bags are pretty crappy in terms of sleeping, but if we start early and we keep people refreshed, we should be fine. We'll put the sleeping bag here. Now, these sleeping bags are, like, cheap to make. Let's get rid of that view. We're lucky to have met some nice people. Okay, bye. You done working yet? You're hungry. Okay. I have no idea what this is. I it's it's got a placeholder thing. I assume that's like takeoff suit. Right, how are you feeling? Excellent. Craft item. What can we craft in tier two? I definitely want to craft the water butt, and it takes a bit of plastic, a bit of rubber, and some duct tape. Well, building it. Building it right now. Uh, where can I put it? There. Tyler. Do the same. I want, like, as many water butts as possible. That's the thing. Because if, like, there's a load of stuff happens, I definitely want a water butt. By the way, Satchel allows you to uh, have an extra four slots when you go out um, expeditioning. As soon as I get leather, I'm making that. So good. Right. And Kevin, fill the bowl for the dog. Neko, there we go. Enjoy. Oh, come back. Did I tell you to eat? What are you doing? Oh, I must have told you to move back. Then. Eat some food. Through your hazmat suit. Hmm. Oh, well. then return the suit. What about you? You want sleepy times? You're building. You're building them fine. You want to eat, so I'll let you eat afterwards. You can sleep because you're not doing anything. Okay, we're good. We're good. I mean, we're a little bit low on water. How much have we got? 12. How much have we got on food? 13 out of 20. I mean, you know, 13 is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Um, the war is a little bit worrying. We've actually got 90 capacity now. So if we get, like, rain and it rains for long enough... Uh, the reason is, like, this has got, like, a filter to stop you, like, getting too much crappy water in, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we kind of need to make sure we get, like, enough as, like, as much as possible. Like, max out our amount of water. If we get 90, excellent. You need, you need water to go expeditioning. So... Ooh, the past to upgrade a system. Fine. Uh, ooh. It's down to 50... Ooh, that's not good. Well, you should fix this. Now, we could go expeditioning again, but I'm a little bit concerned about our water supply. So I might just wait it out for a little while. I think the best thing is to do is wait for a little bit of rain. Even though we do need some, like, expansion to the base. Like, we don't have a toilet, we don't have a shower. We could build a crappy toilet or a crappy shower, but uh, we don't even have much space, right? Because I've built this, this many water butts, and I've taken a lot of space up with the... Uh, the Sleeping bag. Like, we've got maybe one space here. You can't use this area. You could probably put something here. Let's see. Kevin. Craft item. Tier 2. Craft a toilet. Like a full-on toilet? Like, not the crappy one? Okay. And then there's a... Full-on shower. Could I make both? Looks like it. Excellent. Well, can we put the toilet? Oh, the toilet can't fit there. We definitely need to, like, expand our base then. Otherwise, we're having to get rid of, like, water butts. And that is not a good situation to be in. Okay. Can't fit that anywhere. We've got parts to upgrade a system. Yeah, but I don't want to upgrade a system right now. Because, um... I need more concrete. How do I make concrete, right? I need limestone... Or just plain concrete mix. Oh, cement. I think I have to send, like, an expedition out. You need to sleep. 
Have a drink of water after you're done constructing that. Kevin, are you ready to go out? You are. You're going to be a bit sleepy, but I think you've got to send you out. We're going to go on expedition. Yep. Tyler. And Kevin. And we will go... Small farm or school. It's easiest to go there. It costs five water. We'll go with um, piece of pipe equipped. And a gas mask. I don't think we'll take anything to trade. Although it might be a decent idea. But there's nothing here I desperately want to trade. Like I've got a lot of basic resources and I probably will need them. So. Kevin. No. Bad Kevin. Send party. Yes. Sorry. I know you really want to sleep, but... Simply... Simply can't happen. Bye! Have fun! And that's been it for today's episode of Sheltered. Um, let me know what you think. I'm going to play this for a little while longer. I kind of dig it. It's, it's early access. There are a few issues with the UI in some places that I have found. that Maybe it's a little bit... Uh, iffy, like you have to press escape to back out of certain things where you could do a button or you could do just a key prompt that's not escape. Like escape should be like a override kind of function, not a necessity. Or at least that's my view on it. Incoming radio transmission. Well, we'll do that next time. I've been Elysium. Until next time. Hello, Neck of the Dog. If you'd like to remember to like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing, especially with a new series. That's very helpful. And stay shiny.